Victoria. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to Alexandra and Calder. Good morning. Good morning. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. They are twins. They are twins who are 19 months old and they have two different biological dads. Their dads are Simon and Graham Bernie Edwards and they are one of very few British couples who have chosen to fertilise one embryo each during the IVF process and then have the embryos implanted into a surrogate at the same time. Graham and Simon chose to use a surrogate in Canada. Uh, hopefully we can show you a picture of her, 32 year old Meg Stone. There she is with Simon and Graham and the twins not long after they were born because the rules in Britain, they say, are outdated and don't offer many rights to the biological parents. The dads are here to hopefully try and tell their story in their first ever TV interview and why they think the laws around surrogacy in the UK need to be changed. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right, we're cool with children if you're cool as well. Um, right, talk us through your family, because I had to read this a few times before I could get my head around it. Alexander and Calder are twins, and yet you, Graham, are the biological father of Calder, and Simon, you are the biological yeah. father of Alexandra. Yeah. Explain. So we um, worked with uh, a couple of different agencies, but effectively we wow. had an anonymous egg donor who had from the States, because um, our fertility treatment was done in Las Vegas, and they uh, harvested the uh, eggs from the egg donor. They then split those eggs in half. Half of those eggs were fertilised by Graham's sperm, half by mine. Um, they then do the process and, and the, the five day process to kind of get to a point where you've got some embryos. Um, and uh, at the end of that, we had a number of Graham's, or well, embryos fertilized by Graham's uh, sperm and a, a number by mine. Okay. Those were then obviously graded as they do. They then put them, froze them all. Then when they were ready to do the transfer to... Just so everybody's aware, children have got, gone off to Chris Lynn. <laughs> They've gone to see Nana. Lynn, who is offset, and they are absolutely <laughs> delighted to see their Nana. Right, yeah, so uh, when they were ready to do the, the transfer, they then took the two strongest of each of our em different embryos, mm -hmm. and those were transferred into our surrogate. So effectively, they have the same biological mother, but two different, different dads. dads. Which means they, although they were born pretty much at the same time, I think there was a few minutes. Yes. yes. They, they are half siblings. Yes. yes. Gosh, yes. Um, and when you two were talking about having children, were you initially debating which one of you should be the biological father when you were thinking about egg donation and surrogacy and all the rest? Yes, it was. Um... It was always a bit of a difficult one and um, we had thought we, we were both from families with siblings um, and we knew that we pretty much wanted more, more than one child so it was the agreement would be that um, if we could only if we were to go down the road of surrogacy um, one would be Simon's child and one would be my child um, and when we spoke to the first agency they um, introduced us to the idea that um, actually we could implant two embryos at the same time and we could have twins, although they would, they would only be um, half siblings. Mm. Uh, but which, we, we, I mean, presumably your, your jaw hit the floor because I've never heard of this. Yeah. Neither had we. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a complete revelation, really. Mm. And you kind of sort of like think, oh, you know, is, is this something we should be doing? Yeah. That? But it, yeah, you know, the, 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 the clinic was like, yeah, you know, we have, we have a number of you know, couples that go along this route. So, um, yeah. And here they are. And here they are. <laughs> and why did you choose Canada to find a surrogate? We chose Canada specifically because um, we really like the the setup, the, the the legal framework for surrogacy in Canada. Um, it's very similar to the UK in many ways in the fact that it's altruistic. It's not about payments, and um, for us, it was really important that we wanted to be able to have an ongoing relationship with the surrogate because we can't have a relate. Well, the children can't have a relationship with the egg donor it's really important that they have that kind of relationship going forward. But the legal framework in place in Canada is far more straightforward, 
far clearer and provides a lot more legal surety, which for us just felt really important. Because in Britain, as I understand it, when a child is born from a sur surrogate, they have six weeks, if I've understood this mm. correctly, to decide whether they want to keep that child yeah. or not. Absolutely. Call us back. Hello. 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 And I think Alexandra is on her way, <laughs> following on, her brother. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Hello. You gonna come and sit up here? No. 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 Okay. Call <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. So you've got this this six weeks kind of co cooling off period, which you still have in Canada, but it's only a week. Right. Um, but in that time in the UK, you are, you know, we wouldn't be on the birth certificate. So it would be the surrogate. And if she was married, her husband would be the ones listed on the birth certificate. Even though he hadn't fertilised the embryo. Even though, even if they have no biological relation to the children, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is the case. And so, um, and, and that doesn't get reversed until the parental order is put in place. Um, which, you know, for us, and we didn't hang about, we, uh, it took about nine months. So. Hello, Alexandra. Come back. Hey. Hey. Can I come here? Yeah, she's oh, here. Good girl. Here. When, I mean, obviously have, having two embryos implanted into uh, your surrogate in Canada, there is no guarantee that they yeah. are both going to survive. No. Any, no. either of them are going to survive. <laughs> when she revealed to you that, yes, they had taken and that they were growing, what was your reaction? There was um, many emotions that went through our head. Yes, we were highly delighted, absolutely elated. Um, but then reality kicks in and we sat and thought, oh, crumbs, what have we done? Uh, because it is going to be not just one, but two. Um, but yeah, uh, just absolutely blown away by science and the fact that it, it was successful and it all Oh, yes. Yeah, went according fun. And I think she FaceTimed you from the scanning room, didn't she? Where you were able to see on the ultrasound one heartbeat. Yeah. And pausing, deep breath, maybe not even breathing. And then you saw the second heartbeat. I was just about to say, probably not even breathing. Wow. And to, 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 to see that was just, I remember, I mean, we sat at our kitchen table for about two hours afterwards, kind of going through you know, elation to crying to complete and utter shock and thinking, oh, actually, what have we done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the sort of reality of the fact that this was actually happening, so in, but... Where is it? Where you... And was the pregnancy relatively small? Um, yeah, um, Meg had, has two sons of her own, yeah. um, and by all accounts she had fairly straightforward pregnancies with them. Um, she was quite... Um, yeah, assured, reassured us that she carried healthy babies. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it was all pretty much going to plan. Uh, we had arranged to go out to Canada uh, six weeks before. Yeah. Um, the babies were due to be born in case they came early, uh, and we had arranged, uh, allowed ourselves a bit of a buffer mm. after they were born, again, in case there were any health issues. Um, our children... I suppose just gave us a little inkling of how they were going to be and threw a false alarm a week before we were due to go out to Canada um, and there was a very panicked Friday evening getting things together, right. uh, lots of messages back and forward to Canada. You thought, they thought the babies were going to be born slightly yeah. early, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so and, you're on a plane out there quick yeah. and actually she, she went to full term. Yeah, well, yeah. To, yeah. 13. Seven weeks. Yes. Seven years, yeah. yeah. In the six weeks we were out there, she did. They did give us a false alarm every week. Really? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. and we can see that this is continuing now in, in, oh, yeah. in reality. Oh yeah. Absolutely. They now are. they're here. Yeah. Um, so if in this country, would you be able to have an agreement with a surrogate that was legally enforceable? No. No. Um, you know, it's. And that's an issue. It's, yeah, that's a real issue. I think going forward and. You know, was I, th I think you know I don't think I would ever you know, necessarily want to see, uh, and that's a personal thing. I wouldn't necessarily want to see the kind of the, the payments, you know, the kind of a transactional version yeah. of surrogacy in the same way that the states is. But I think that you know that altruistic thing. But having a legal framework in place that is clearer that 
enables people to move through and, and have the parental order put in swiftly, uh, swiftly yeah. and a lot more quickly and easily. I mean, in, in Canada, we had a few forms to sign, which we did at the end of um, the first week that we were there. Those were notarised by um, an official at City Hall mm. and that was sent off. And then we got our birth certificates and that was it. But I suppose the argument from people here who, who support our system, the British system, might be, look, there are checks and balances in place, and if it takes a little bit of time to make sure everything is above board, then so be it. I suppose so, but I mean, you know, we still, you know, we still had a check with a, so, uh, a social worker. They yeah. came round um, whilst we were still in hospital, um, just to kind of check that our story all stacked up. They chatted to us. They chatted to Meg. Mm. Um, so we had that. Uh, you know, it, it just seems that there's a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of time and money. Uh, being spent, you know, we, you know, we had to go to the Royal Courts of Justice. It was, a, you know, a high judge that that oversaw this. You know, Kafkas having to come out and do things. Yeah. You know, departments of health tell us that they want surrogacy laws in this country to be fit for purpose, as they say. Mm. So they're supporting a current review of the whole of yeah. the legislation by the Law Commission. A couple of messages here. Alex on Facebook says. Just amazing. Congratulations to the dads. And Ali tweets, isn't science wonderful? Two lovely children to two amazing dads. Uh, and she says, I wish both families all the very best. Now, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Because you are one family. We are one family. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I wish both families, all of you, all the very best as the children grow and develop. Uh, do you, do you, would you like any more children or is two enough? I still get pretty. Do you? Yeah. Oh my God! I'm still home, Dad, and I still get broody. Do you? Yeah. Uh, but um, then and reality kicks in. Um, uh, I mean, we always said, you know, if we were lucky to have one of each, and by that I mean, you know, one of each, yeah, as opposed yeah. to a boy and a girl, that was just yeah. the, the cherry yeah. on the cake kind of thing. Yeah. Um, that 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 would be it. You know, we yeah. imagine that we would be a unit for four, but um, I say never say never. Mm. My mum's very keen for us to have have because uh, we told her how many embryos we had still left in a freezer in vegas and she wondered if we could have the whole lot and how many are left uh nine but uh, <laughs> so if someone was paying no, no, for no, it no, and, and some no. may not survive and yeah, yeah, all, all that sort of stuff may, may not be viable yeah i'm trying to make you feel better yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah. listen thank you so much thank, thank you for thank coming you. on the program very nice to meet you and all the best thank you very, thank much. You very much